Hello everybody, welcome to probably the pick of the third round, round of 16, which is where we started doing the games. We've got Strider with the uh, blue Underworld team. I thought it was Skaven, but it is indeed Underworld. I don't know why I thought it was Skaven, and uh, there's no reason for me to say that either, but there you go. He's got a very good gutter runner, and he's got a nice blitzer, and he's got a nice rat auger, and he's got a dirty player sneaky get goblin, and he's got a nice thrower. Uh, that's pretty much all he's got. And he's also got a bribe, a 50k bribe, of course. Up against Bright, who has 12 players. And uh, I think he's got an assassin or two. He's got two bloodstep assassins. Which, you know, a pretty decent matchup for them, right? Getting to stab the uh, stab the snotlings. So that's pretty nice. Loads of bloodstep. He's got, like, about six bloodstep or something. So, uh, loads of bloodstep. It'll be interesting if it's enough. Let's find out. He's also got a sneaky get dirty player of his own. I'll be interested in the use of assassins, right? See if he can leverage the assassins into more stabs. Stabby McStabbersons. You can kind of tell from this heat haze that there's it's probably sweltering heat that's in play. Which obviously gonna be bad for the uh elves rather than the Underworld sings they have 16 players. Here we go, three extra lads. Were hey. Just go symmetrical, could have put an extra one on that side. Alright, so he's moving it across a tiny bit. Lose the turn. That's okay, isn't it? Free turn of stall. Open with a stab. Instant stun. And an instant nothing. It does have a tackle there to three dice blitz. And dodge away afterwards. We could put a player here and a player here to trap these, which just stops them standing. Right? It would just stop them standing. So I doubt he's going to get an extra stab off here. Injured, not hex skulls. Hex skulls would be very unlucky, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, you, you could have done something right. You could have moved this guy over there before he did that. To help protect. Could have moved this guy out. This guy could have gone to here. This blitzer could have gone there. And uh, then this guy could have picked it afterwards. Also this one he could have moved. So yeah. No reason not to play safe. Like there's some things that you want to wait until obviously to see like you know. That if you roll a hex skull you're just unlucky. But. These moves that he's making now, he totally could have done first. And would have made him a little bit safer in the event of a fail. And that's a funny one, isn't it? Because I mean, it's very marginal, right? It's only going to matter on hexaskulls, which is... God knows, I don't even know what the odds of that are. Too too many to be bothered with. Um, what is it, one in 40,000 or something? I don't. One in 48? I don't, I don't know, I care. Very, very unlikely, that's for sure. And uh, But there's still no excuse for not moving those two guys, right? These two guys were always going to move here. So move them first. And I think that's the thing that art tends to do, isn't it? Art tends to have the absolute best autopilot of just moving those guys first. Gets a cheeky removal. 
But you know, none of us are professional blood bowlers, are we? And uh, people just don't play very well <laughs> as a rule. Nobody's really very good at blood bowl. And obviously comparatively good, but not, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo good. Or Magnus Carlsen good. Or anything like that. There are no... I mean, there are galaxy brains, obviously, right? There's like, there's K-Fog and stuff. But they're still not trying their hardest, right? They're not... And also, they can't to the extent of chess, right? You just can't to the extent of chess. Because chess has... Has years and years and years of people trying their hardest. This is a bit shit. Leaving this guy to be blitzed into, an, into a stab, by the way. Um, and a massive gang foul. I kind of hate this. I, I'm definitely putting him into a gang foul. Um, so yeah, so like chess has that, doesn't it? Chess has the like the years and years and years of books and everything, and then so everyone can read and study those and get better. And, and Blood Bowl doesn't have like that accumulated knowledge. Magic card for you there. Um, so you know, if you were to have to, uh, if you were to be the one who took Blood Bowl seriously. You just wouldn't even be able to take it as seriously as uh, chess players can and do. Big foul now. I mean, that's a lovely juicy target, isn't it? It's a lovely juicy target. Horns, guard, claw, mighty. We'll definitely get a big old gang foul in there. Not a problem. I do wonder why this guy is in here rather than here, I guess to protect the uh, assassin. This isn't a very big foul, is it? Two assists? I'd like to have seen three or four. Personally. That was a double one. Get sent off. Nice dirty player, sneaky git mate. Where'd you get it? The shit dirty player sneaky git shop so now this this blitzer has now removed two players brilliant play from strider to expose him to a to a blitz and foul as he just ends up removing an opposition player so there you go wow 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 I think you blitz this guy right with the uh, roger because he's only got wrestling, you've got block and juggernaut. No, he doesn't have juggernaut. Ah, oh, he's got stand firm, he doesn't have juggernaut. Well, he's still got block and pro. Doesn't have juggernaut. Normally, I'd go juggernaut, so yeah, he's just blitzing this guy instead. Fair enough. You've got to uh, sidestep to here, right? I pros it. Doesn't get anything. I've got to hear. Oh, and he powers him! But now you're going to get to stab the roger anyway next turn, which is nice. And he could have maybe double stabbed him if he, uh, if he hadn't been knocked over, but... He doesn't break AV. Yeah, blitzing this guy is a bit risky. I wonder if he's going to try and put some pressure on the ball to, like... Mask the fact that his rat oak is about to get shit on. <laughs> but of course, there's no mighty blow for the uh, Dark Elves, and now no sticky get dirty player, so not too dangerous looking the Dells. That was a classic Jim Fowl, how I'll keep. It is, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's beautiful to see other people's good play punished. <laughs> it's such a soul draining game, Blood Bowl. 
Let me do the right play. Oh, look, my opponent's done the wrong, wrong play. I'll counter with the right play. Oh, great, he's removed another one of my players. Just what I wanted. But then this unassisted foul <laughs> makes for a KO. Beautiful. Did go for the argue first. It's the gutter runners out here. Why is the gutter runner out to get 3D? What the fuck? <laughs> Go home, Strider, you're drunk. <laughs> what did you do that for? What the fuck? <laughs> what? what was that? <laughs> Why? Just, just let your fucking gutter runner get 3 dice. By tackle? What the fuck, man? Who can say if it's good or bad, eh? Jesus. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it in Resurrection. But it's not Resurrection. He's your whole hopes, not just of winning this match, but the entire tournament. You know, hopes of winning the entire tournament hinge on one player. And one player alone. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel like just hanging him out there. I mean, it got him in scoring range, right? But it just, it just wasn't doing... It wasn't enough, right? There's no, there was no other stuff there, right? Of course, you're going to have to, you're going to have to expose him sometimes. But, like, there just wasn't other stuff. It, he just had a. He was just ran up like we were here. Hit me, hit me. Which I don't think was a good idea. Just quietly. I mean, just pretty loudly actually. But you know, <laughs> maybe I overreacted, but it seemed pretty mental. Oh man, the absolute shame of getting two dice by a snotling. <laughs> Did he fail a dodge that like led to led to that guy getting hit? It's so weird. Got powered and cast. Well, not cast. Removed. When I said cast. It's so weird to leave the gutter there.
There's no witch elves, is there? There's no witch elves on this dark elf team. Or maybe no witch elves left. <laughs> There's another KO. Sent off. KO'd, 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 KO'd. <laughs> You've got six players left on turn five. Maybe we should have dackered. Um... But yeah, there's no witch elves, is there? Hmm. Like, I get it, right? Because you want to hit the armor seven guys and the armor six guys and the armor five guys to try and hurt them. Wait, there aren't armor five. There aren't armor six guys. Are there? There's armor seven guys and armor five guys. But you want to hit those to try and remove them. But also, chances are that I mean that they hit harder than you, and they're better at fouling than you are. Rerolling here because he wants to foul the gutter, I guess. No witches. It's sad, isn't it, when you've been punching snotlings and you've done one cars, and then these fuckers have done four kills. Yep, all of them from now on. Pastel. All of them from now on. Like early rounds is just too many matches, right? Some of them were probably good, but I wasn't in the mood for streaming anyway. In future, I might do like the round of 64 preview and then stream selected games from the round of 64 but and round of 32. But this, this season, I wasn't up for it, so I didn't do it. And then just start with the round 16. But I, every every season I'll do, I'll do everything from the round of 16. And of course, the Blood Bowl Super League. That's the most exciting thing of all. Hope you win tomorrow. Well, good luck. Is there? There's two two games at six, isn't there tomorrow? Am I right in thinking that? I am. Clever Jimbo. Classic rats. I mean, shouldn't 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 have said that, Olivia Dulac, because uh, because of course, not everybody uh, not everybody. Unbelievably, there are still three people yet to submit. 
No, two people yet. There's two people yet to submit. There are two people lagging behind. But, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure they'd guess you were on rats anyway. I guessed you were on rats. Are we trying to fill all of the gaps for a surf here? Like, filling all of the gaps for a sidestep surf would be amazing. But, uh, he's not. That would have been really good, wouldn't it? I guess he just doesn't have the movement. But if you could just do all a million stunty dodges and fill in all of the uh, all of the slots and then do like a double sidestep chain surf, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? Elliot would have done it, but uh, I guess it's beyond mere mortals. Oh no, he is going to do it, <laughs> but he's got to do a few GFIs. All right, he, has, he is doing it, good. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. Wait, he's not doing it, what? Oh, wait, who's he? Does that guy not have sidestep? That guy doesn't have sidestep. Right, so that's how he did it then. Well, that guy didn't have sidestep. That wasn't a good place to stand, was he? If he didn't have sidestep. But even if he had sidestep, he could have, uh, well, he could have come in, couldn't he? And uh, closed him off with the sidestep. So even if he'd had the sidestep there. I honestly, mate, I've got no idea. I've been looking at Pal World. I've been looking at rosters for Super League. And, uh, mate, you look at this screen and tell me what's happening. Have you seen how shit the game is? <laughs> I mean, only joking, Cyanide. Love you really, guys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> is this naff? This isn't naff, but the uh, Blood Bowl Super League will be naff. And we've got 12 of the best. We've got 2 of the best from Tabletop. We've got 9 of the best from the Season 2 Finals. And we've got me. Really nice. <laughs> Eleven of the best and me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I had to put myself in, didn't I? <laughs> oh. Wait, why is there a double one? I don't know, but there you go. Thank you very much. Andy Devo, what a legend. Mega Red, thank you very much. <laughs> Two reds for. Am I okay? I'm not, I'm not really okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm slightly less okay. I'm slightly more okay than Strider, who just who just sacrificed his gut runner for no reason a few turns ago. But um, you know, off, looks like he's gonna win anyway, because uh, he's made he's made four KOs. And a send off and a surf, including a ball carrier surf versus a Kazna send off. So, yeah, the Dark Elves have got nobody left. <laughs> Turned over on their own offense and about to go 1 0 behind. But there you go. Look, I, I knew what's happened, you see. Dimmy was trying to slay at me, saying I didn't know what was going on, but I've known exactly what's happened. Yeah, Underworld are a bit stupid, aren't they? Underworld are a bit stupid. Um. Some very interesting things, though, about the, uh, speaking of Underworld, uh, it's going to be interesting when we do the, uh, the Super League preview. Dimmy and I will do, we'll do the draw, we'll do the draw live to see, you know, where people are. We're still waiting for two rosters, so we can't really talk about it yet, but when the two rosters come in, um, I'll, like, make the league in-game and invite everybody and stuff, set it all up. And then Dimmy and I will do, will do the draw. Art and Anarian. Anarian's been offline. I guess Anarian's like away on a, some kind of sex cult weekend. So, um, I mean, Anarian will be Wood Elves anyway, won't he? Probably almost. So I guess he could be da He could be Blackhawks, right? He was Blackhawks in the, uh, in the playoffs. In the season finals, he was Black Oaks, so he, he could be Black Oaks if he likes them. Um, oh, probably Black Oaks or Elves. Neither one's Artemis. 
Artemis says he'll he'll get it in by today, so that's good. Well, Art was Underworld in the season finals, wasn't he? Because he wanted to win. So he might be Underworld again. Yeah, he's got a sex cult, hasn't he? Uh, <laughs> in Harry, and that was that was uh, that was PC's hot take. Was the was that Inari and is the leader of some kind of sex cult? And I mean, honestly, look at him. How can it not be true? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure PC's right. And if if Inarian isn't the head of a of, of some kind of sex cult, he surely should be. <laughs> he's the <laughs> if he's not the uh, if he's not the Swedish Scotty T, I don't know who is. <laughs> Do you know what? I never watched. I'd never watched Geordie Shaw before, and if exactly right, Santa, exactly. I'd never watched Geordie Shaw before, and if I just thought it'd be rubbish. Weirdly, weirdly, I always thought rubbish TV was rubbish, and I didn't want to watch rubbish TV. But since Art Artemis has introduced me to rubbish TV, and uh, it's all really fun, I'm, I'm shocked. All this, all this crap, you know, like. Uh, the, well, Love Island and that is probably brilliant, right? I, mean, I like. I just thought it was shit, so I never watched it. But it's probably that's probably brilliant. And yeah, Geordie Shaw is incredible. If you've never watched Geordie Shaw, you should watch Geordie Shaw from like about season four onwards. See, I think it's season four. What when Scotty T turns up in Geordie Shaw house? Oh my god, it's incredible. It's actually incredible. Best, best TV all times. <laughs> it's actually brilliant. Scotty T, he's, he's a bit, he's a bit thick, um, which is probably why he never. And maybe he's lazy or something. But it's weird that he never became like a, you know, a TV presenter or something because he's absolutely hilarious. Completely hilarious. <laughs> oh yo! Oh wow, Swiggy, that's brilliant. <laughs> Anything to distract him from the sheep. <laughs> that's why Art has to watch all the booby streamers, isn't it? To just take, take his mind off the sheep. Anything, anything but the sheep. Oh, there we go. There's a cat. He's dodging away from a snotling and roll the one. Amazing. Amazing. Trying to like trying to do something to, you know, make Strider think about scoring early, but obviously he really doesn't want to with the four KOs. And uh, he obviously wasn't gonna either. So probably should have just three diced that snotling. Probably should have just three diced the snotling. I don't know what his great plan was. I guess it, to dodge around so that this is the guy that gets blitz instead of the blood stepper, right? The blood stepping tackler, because yeah, now the blood stepping tackler is going to get three diced by the looks of it. Yep, only three assists because he's got horns. No reroll, can't risk it. Hasn't got a lot back to protect the ball now. He should could slice up to here, right, to stop this guy coming through here. I quite like this sidestep square. Cause like this is the obvious one to keep him based. This is the obvious one to keep him based, but by going there you stop him coming through there. Which is a pretty fucking good way to go through, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, that's what he does. Well done, Jim. But then that frees him, so he gets the three dice him, so it probably doesn't make a lot of difference. <laughs> oh well. Never mind. Hmm, not sure about that. Maybe he could have 
moved him up here, oh, but then I don't want him to. Is he just going to score? What he could have done is done that block, then move this guy here, and then move the gutter there, or move this guy to here or something, and then hand it off to the gutter. This is too risky, isn't it? Can he get hit? Oh, not if he can't get hit. Okay, this guy, only one guy can hit him. He's in the end zone. Oh, man, he really, he really does want to give him two rolls, though, does he? Oh, sent off. Argues the call on a six. Glorious. So this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Easy. What is it? Four plus, four plus, oh no, five plus. Oof. Yeah. No, he did, so he did it wrong, right? Because uh, he could have he could have done the jump. He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. And said he's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. So, but uh, could have done a slightly more optimal path, utilizing the jump there. Something to think about. Utilizing jumps. So the uh, heat has happened with three. Still these ten players for the underworld. <laughs> and seven for the Dark Elves. But you know, much better quality for the Dark Elves, right? Apart from the apart from two of them, so this isn't unwinnable. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Jump would have still been a five, but that was a six, wasn't it? He did a six plus dodge, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, minus four. So it could have been a five with a jump. I'm not saying it would have worked. <laughs> but, but it would have been slightly more optimal. So I guess I guess he didn't see the jump. I guess you can argue you'd rather use dodge on the on that and stuff. But. I imagine he just didn't think of the jump. It's like it's one of the hardest things, isn't it? Think about jumping. Like, I think I'm pretty good at thinking about it when it's important, but I think I'll miss things when it's you know less less obvious that you need to do something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember a game. Eliod versus uh, Nick, where like Eliod used it to jump a few players over the LOS, and it's like, wow, that was you know that was really cool, and and most people would not have seen that. But if it's like to score, then of course everyone's going to see that jump, right? Or to stop a score, well, maybe it's not everyone, but most people are going to they're going to be looking for the jump more than jump down. <laughs> I'm not a Mormon, so I haven't done it. <laughs> the old soaking. What's this? A double GFI? I mean, you can't really do a GFI. Maybe you do do a GFI. Could just run him up first. Then you could maybe blitz him. And like just get him down there. But just moving people down doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? Oh, there's a snot. So you could three dice the snot then, I guess. But then what if he sidesteps to there? That's only two twos. Sucks that you can't use a reroll, isn't it, for this? I, th I guess you just move, move this. It seems a shame not to do anything, but then... Honestly, even if you double GFI and catch it, they just assist, blitz, pick up the gutter, back to square one. I think you probably have to do it. 
yeah, maybe he's forgotten this guy. Maybe he's sitting there going, why do I only have six players? <laughs> why do I only have six players? What's going on? <laughs> is Bright Russian or American? I know he's one. Of, I always get it wrong, whichever one he is. Does not pow. Does not go there. Hey, I guess he would get hit, wouldn't he? So yeah, he just goes there. Oh, rolls a one, removes himself. <laughs> Bang done. Um, and then there you go. That's his apple gone on a KO. And this guy forgotten about. Yikes. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Is it movement nine? Oh, wow, what a player. That was a lot of twos. I didn't like doing it with this guy. I'd have rolled the twos with this guy. I'd have rolled all the twos with this guy, right? But not with him because he's too dangerous and you haven't got dodge and you haven't got... Well, I mean, he hasn't got sprint or sure feet anyway. But, you know I mean, like the fact you haven't got sure feet... Uh, if this guy had rolled a blitz, I wouldn't. I, I don't want to GFI with my gutter runner. I remember Elliot GFI'd with his gutter runner of blitz, and it's like, no, no, do not do that. Do not do. Do not do GFIs on a blitz with your underworld gutter runner. And with this guy, do not do dodges with your uh, with your dodge movement nine guy because he doesn't actually have dodge. Also, don't forget about this guy. <laughs> yeah, you must have forgotten about him because there's no. There's no reason for putting him there. So we can only assume that Bright is looking at the board like this or something and just cannot see. Cannot see this guy hiding back there. <laughs> when will he spot him? Nobody knows. It's not over yet, but it's close, isn't it? Because this guy's going to get sneaky gitted. He's about to get brutally sneaky gitted. Positively sneaky gitted. Well, no, he's stunned anyway, but next turn he'll get sneaky gitted. Does not have extra arms, failed the pickup! Oh man, imagine, imagine if this guy had moved up six squares last turn, he could do something this turn. And if this guy hadn't fallen on his ass, he'd be here, um, here or here, with a movement nine dodge player. So while Bright's had some pretty terrible dices, he's also got himself into a bit of a pickle of his own making. Does the stabber go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can go there and then stab him, I think. I think that's how it works on this. I think you don't need a GFI. It's still bugged in some way, I hope. Uh, I did some testing. It's bugged somehow. Um, he's got three plus leader? Or does he have four? He's just got full four. Um, I mean... Oh, he can chain him out, look. Okay, so here we go, then that's much better. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then stab. He might be able to go seven stab, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's definitely bugged in some way, stab. But I don't know exactly how. And of course, you should exploit the bugs, shouldn't you? You know, you're crazy if you don't here. <laughs> Stab and Chainsaw are both bugged.
Ugh, diced. Hmm, I definitely did a, a book report to do with Stab, and it's I can't find it here. That's weird. Oh, here we go. Stab and vomit both booked. I was just being stupid. Still, stream still on. Oh, he's picked up the ball. <laughs> oh, so it's so the way stab works is um, neither stab nor vomit require a rush to be rolled on either the first or second rush attempt on a blitz, but it doesn't let you make a hit beyond your normal range. So. So that's what you can do. So he so he could have he could have actually stabbed from this square if he'd wanted. Or this square. He could have done an extra he could have done an extra move and not so he, so this one actually, right? He probably could have gone to here and then uh stab without having to GFI. So there you go. Also, vomit is bugged in that you can't keep moving after you vomit on a blitz. So there you go, some some bugs with stab and vomit for you. He's filled some squares in there. He's in a bit of pickle here, isn't he? He got the ball on a blood stepper. That's a, that's a problem. Gets a pow. No problem at all. <laughs> There's no tackle, this is just a horns guy. There's no tackle at all on a Strider's team. Yes, you are, Spluggy. Yes, you are. It's not stab. You can blitz, vomit, and then carry on moving. No. Oh. Shadow does nothing. You'll do nothing. He's a blood stepper, so I can move two players to try and with the rogue. Oh, Kale's beautiful, isn't it? Tidies that up. Right, nice. Powers the blodger, kills the other guy. Picks up the ball, runs here. And then, uh, gauges. Right, they could have gone one down, right? And then this guy could have gone one down, and this guy could have one down. That would have been slightly better, I think. Because he's got a hole here, a gaping hole. Whereas if he'd gone, if he'd gone one square lower, that would have been better. But he gets a pow here to save himself any problems. Amazing. Wonderful play by Strider. Just roll pals. <laughs> but yeah, this was definitely better. One lower. And then him one lower and him one lower. Oh wow, he's going to... But now he gets to foul. Okay, well. Maximum greed payoff there. And another KO. And I guess all there is is the uh, the stab blitz. Has to be the only player, right? Does nothing. The window he'll play Seabros. I've got no idea. There's a there's a nuffle thing. There's a nuffle. There's a nuffle. I don't think there's a link, but um. It's Nuffle-y Nuffle, isn't it? The Nuffle XYZ site. Yeah, 
It is a bit of a dicing, yeah. You know. It is a bit of a dicing. There are things Bright could have done, but I don't think it would have helped him much. If Seabros has won, the winner of Seabros has match, of course, no spoilers. No idea whether Seabros has won his game or not. Gets the pro, does nothing. But does clear the ball. He doesn't have to move forward, does he really? More or less stay where he is. Just has to make the ball safe. Keeping the ball safe. That's all that matters. The old H cage. Beloved by PC. <laughs> it's a little bit dodgy here because now he gets the sidestep up there, doesn't he? Which uh, opens up that corner. But then I guess you just reinforce it there anyway. <laughs> yes, he was. That may have happened. That may have happened. Maybe I should just do these as replays, honestly. Live, they just seem to take too long. <laughs> My mind wanders. During the... Uh, watching people think... 30 seconds it's not the most gripping thing in the way where's he going to sidestep to Whoa. he's into his bonus time he's a bonus time burner Whoa, this is a critical decision where will he sidestep to or maybe he's AFK <laughs> Strider's burned bloody six or no, five and a half minutes of his bonus time. Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic, Seabros. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a telestrator. I do need that, yeah. Yeah, draw a penis. That's why I did I did set up a telestrator for stream once and as you can imagine I was like, so this guy could have run around here and then this guy could have run around here and then this this one could have gone up there, this one could have gone up there, and then they could have passed the ball up there. <laughs> it was, uh, of course, these three players marking up here. These three players marking down there. You can pretty much imagine what I did. Three elves left. What can he do? A oh, four! He still hasn't spotted him! <laughs> it's gonna be so funny when he when he goes back and sees him, isn't it? It's gonna be so funny when he spots this guy. The art safety. <laughs> Went in through the tail, no reason not to, right? Because it's six plus dodge either way. And that's probably correct because you've you've got the reroll and the dodge and then you've got the stab, you know. You're not gonna power him anyway, you've got no tackle. So the best play for Strider here is to stay where he is, because then he's only got to fight three L's, whereas if he moves downfield he's got to fight four. <laughs> Classic. Classic blood ball. <laughs> Pro. 
Doesn't work. Kaz is his own player. Seriously hurts him. Oh, it's just badly hurt, isn't it? Or is it? Miss next match, yes. <laughs> Miss next match is his goblin. <laughs> Very reliable at casting your own players. Dangerous pushing him that way. Closer to the other guy, he might get spotted. Yeah, I might have put in a reroll then. I mean, he didn't. He didn't, did he? Or do you mean he should have made? He should like secure the ball first. Like he didn't reroll it, but yeah, he could have. He could have secured the ball first, eh? Yeah. Boring sea brawls. That's a feature of uh, Strider's play, is that he uh, he doesn't really bother with that sometimes. <laughs> which which led to Art, of course, calling him the worst player <laughs> in the world. <laughs> and uh, while that's not really true, it is something that you really should do, isn't it? There's not really an excuse for not doing it. It's just laziness. Laziness and apathy. Sneaky get Injured. Well, the elves sneaky get dirty player got far, got sent off on the first foul he did, while the goblin has dismantled the entire team. So that's fair, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he's nearly called Hide the Hunter. <laughs> Hilda the Hunter has remained hidden. <laughs> I like how he's just made a screen with his two L's that are left as well. <laughs> I must stop him. <laughs> Three into two. Gets the pow. Dirty Dino. Does nothing. Again, that would have been, would have been open, right? On a double skull. This time, not even a triple. On a double skull, the ball, wall would have been wide open. And, you know, it would have been, it would have been a 1D on the ball. Not amazing, but it would have been something. There is certainly an argument for that, yes, so, yep. Yep. He actually, this is interesting because he might want to score on, like, don't know what the TV cap, I think they're both below the TV cap by a fair bit, so probably won't care who he scores on. Or might actively score on somebody to level. No idea what the SVP marks are anymore. I've got them written down and fumble for me, but uh, what's this be his fourth? His fourth level. Oh, center. So sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-eight is what they are. So he can't level him after this one, but he could put him on 13. It moved, he spotted him. 10 13. Unlucky for some, unlucky for Strider. <laughs> he entered the fray. <laughs> Sidestep, but I mean it's really easy clear, isn't it? Harry still doesn't have to score one nil up. I 
Health and safety, we're heading. Because the gutter blitzes, because it's got block and it's still two dots. And then you could uh, make a cage around the ogre, maybe. Problem is, the snotling hasn't got a proper tackle zone, has it? So. You could just like run back and make a cage out of these four. Because, you know, he's marked, he's marked, he's marked. You don't have to get forward. At all. In fact, scoring's probably bad for you, right? Because it gives him an extra LOS hit. So, yeah, okay, here we go, runs back. Uh, the gutter runner probably wasn't in range, was it? No, the gutter runner just blitzed. But the gutter runner was not really in. Wasn't in G zero GFI range. If the gutter runner was here, then yeah, I guess going two 0 up wins you the game. Because so I guess there was an argument for getting the gutter runner on this on this roll at some point. But then of course you could one in thirty six and fail. Whereas now, just by running back, he's totally safe, and 1-0, uh, we're going to win anyway. Oh, we've got the bug, the running man. Can only see where he is because of this circle. Brilliant. It's pretty great, actually. It's a pretty great bug. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> while it's completely unacceptable, oh wow, he did get to hit the ball. He's got to hit the ball. Why would you let him hit the ball? Don't like that. He's got sidestep though, so it's not an easy clear. Could have tried to dodge in. Probably should have done right against a snotling with. Woohoo! Hello, Sutter. <laughs> Elf and safety is the classic, isn't it? How are we? Alive, Sata. Alive. If he powers on this three dice, it's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. He does power. So I can just run away again. Just run all the way away. He's definitely safe. In fact, he could just go there, right? Oh, that's as far as he could go anyway. And then he gets the... Uh... Do you dodge this guy off first? Probably, eh? Yeah, one at a time. Does he make the first? You go the second for the extra assist? <laughs> and he failed. <laughs> of course, that was a dodge. <laughs> because this guy's gone invisible now. <laughs> He's actually here. <laughs> He's actually here. <laughs> but it just happens that he's one score away, right? He could be over here and, and, and you wouldn't be able to see him. Pretty terrible bug. Especially when there's money on the line now, isn't there? When these uh, 
He's off. He did. He did try to do his next round opponent a favour by uh, casting the gutter, but only gets a KO. I wonder where he's going to go this turn, this fella. Oh, that's that's recovered him. Okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad to play. Yikes! You can just quit, can't you? You can quit Alt F4 and return. It's probably what you should do if it ever happens. This isn't bad though, is it, Bright? He's you know he's got a guy that can blitz and score potentially. Maybe um. Maybe the running back wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I was quite a strong advocate for just, like, I would have just tried to cage strongly in the middle. I didn't really like this running back that turn, but I like running back the previous, like, this turn just gone, but now all of a sudden it's not great, is it? Three players? Maybe four? I'm sure punting isn't the best option. Versus L's. When you've got the ball and a blodger and they've got no tackle. <laughs> it's not a proper tackle zone from the uh, from the snotling, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? I guess you make this 3D, see what happens. It's the power. Yeah, but you can just you can just like wildly inaccurate, can't you? Punting is uh, is very 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 rarely the right option. So now he's now with that removal, all he can do is uphill the ball for double pows, and uh, try and get a favourable bounce. Or scat catch more more realistically. It's very unlikely. And maybe he failed. I guess he failed and we just didn't see it. <laughs> and there's no uh there's no summary after the game. There's just a loading goblin. Um so there you go. Congratulations to Strider. Commiserations <laughs> <laughs> too bright and uh, <laughs> yep <laughs> thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic uh, my jumper is purple or <laughs> that's the best blue. ending <laughs> it's blue my jumper is blue I don't know why I said purple <laughs> <laughs> Yep.